You know, I did that when I was young. Stepped on them. Your yeah. glasses? Yes. I put my computer on the ground one time, like my laptop, and somebody mm. stepped on it. Ouch. Hey guys, welcome to the anniversary edition of Keto Date Night. So this series is something that me and my husband started doing uh, after we got married. Uh, due to 2020 being a crazy year, we couldn't go out on our date nights. That was one of the things that we used to do uh, before we got married that we really enjoyed just going around town, trying out local restaurants, and everything was shut down and we couldn't do that. So we were like, we're gonna make our own date nights at home, okay? <laughs> and they are gonna be keto. And so my husband has been creating amazing keto recipes and today is no different today we have lasagna and uh, a cesar salad so the lasagna is really amazing because i know right because we are using the palmini pasta yes, we that we got in a previous keto crate and we've never tried it or tasted it before so this is going to be kind of a review and a date night dinner right so okay baby do you want to tell us do you want to tell us a little bit about the lasagna process um as far as that's concerned, we all know how lasagna is made. It's a multi-tiered level of involvement from inception to conception. See how he got to be extra? Look, <laughs> you made the meat sauce, the palmini pasta, you made the ricotta mixture. It's much deeper than that. And then you layered them all together. Yes, yeah, I agree. Is that not... Yeah, but each one of those steps, I added like my own little twist. You did add your own little like, extra little, flair like to it. Meat, you 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 change the meat up so it's not all one. It's not all beef. We yep. put beef in pork. Yep, and you put like, onions in there. Well, that's the traditional. Oh, is it? Never mind. I didn't do the normal. Just is the red pepper flakes. Oh, yes. he put the red pepper, the red pepper flakes because he knows his wife likes it yeah, spicy. Basically, mm, basically. I'm so like, excited. I, uh, add it with like a little fennel seed. Mm -hmm. A little. We use the rails. Yes. Marinara. Yes, we did. And so keeping uh, it completely keto and yeah, low carb yes, in the his house. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I chopped some fresh tomato in there against. The, much to my chagrin. But it added to the rails to like. So I've already tried enhance. it, and luckily I can't taste the tomatoes <laughs> themselves because that would have been a non-starter. We would have had to start oh, all over. My gosh. But no. So I have not tasted the whole thing together, mm, and this is me neither. Finna be lit. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to, but like. All right. Look at the beautiful Ooh, layers. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> really, at least the first form. cut of lasagna is the best cut. Uh, everything else, you're just say, piling stuff the on top. Second cut was like, as soon as you leave, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just you. Relax. I'm yeah, relaxed. exactly. Okay, so then you made a really small uh, signature Cesar salad. Yes, so this I is did. just iceberg lettuce mm -hmm. um, with finely diced iceberg. Finely diced iceberg, which I really, really like. Or shredded, mixed with she was saying, not diced. Yeah, you're right. More of a crisscross. You're right. Nice is more like leaves yes. you with squares. Yes. This is like a shredded. You're Finally right. Shredded Finally ice. shredded iceberg. Uh, and then we have both some looks like grated and shaved. I was just gonna say Parmesan on there. Just gonna say. Parmesan mm, two I ways. And then we have just some regular Cesar dressing. Yes, okay, yes. well that's what I'm gonna give a try yes. first All because right. I know that. You know, I, I'm probably, well, I know I'm going to like it, so. Mine's is the exact same only. Oh, added, my God. He added tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. Which are not a traditional uh, Cesar salad ingredient. Thank you very much. But, okay. Oh That's, mm, actual tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Disgusting. Basically. So, you know. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Right, oh, my God. I got, a, I, got a, I got a long piece of lettuce I put in there. two different types of parm in there. Yes. Tell me what you think. Crunchy, parmy, Caesary, and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> all the above. I actually love the shredded lettuce. Like it adds like a different. I know, right? Texture than like That's your traditional, larger romaine Just chunks. Just like a rough chop. Yeah, or exactly. Yeah. For me, my salad principle. Okay, back to Richard's salad principles. Principle number three: always chop your lettuce as you make the prepare the preparing the bowls. That way, your lettuce should never need a fork. What are you eating your salad with if it's not a fork? I mean a knife. There we go. <laughs> Whatever you're doing, a knife. <laughs> Let me have this date night. Okay? Exactly. The pressure. The you pressure have I'm spent all right day now. in the in the yes. uh, kitchen. A knife is what I meant to say. Richard salad likes rules. everything chopped up into bite-sized pieces, so that or you shredded. shouldn't. Yeah, so that you shouldn't have to. 
um, cut it with use anything a else. Knife. Yeah, yes. that's Not what he meant. Okay. Yes. Use it for it, because I don't want you using, like, I mean, some, I some, some customs do. I think you spoon your salad. Some like, customs do use your hands, but okay. in this one, we, we like this. Okay, the moment of truth. Uh-oh. Let's try some lasagna. Uh -oh. Let's see what this palmini hearts of palm Okay, first of all, about. the fork went through it very easily. Right. At least it I went like through that mine. Part. That's, yep, mine as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it does, I mean, look, it kind of looks like a lasagna noodle. I know. I didn't well, say anything. Again, you, can't, you can't tell that this isn't traditional again, lasagna. Richard Rules Cooking number eight. Every level you make, you can add more You have more to build in to the it. levels, the layers uh, of flavor, he calls it. You just finished my sentence. Please, because I want to mm -hmm. eat. Can I, can I try this? Uh, yeah. Okay. Try it. Mm. Well, can't tell the difference between that and regular lasagna. It's not because, <laughs> it's not because of the layers of flavor. Oh, it's literally. Okay. You know. So, the texture of the palmini mm -hmm. is really good, I guess. Yes. Honestly, I don't know if it's necessary. Like, we've had pasta lasagna plenty of times on keto, you know, mm -hmm. where you just do the meat sauce and then the ricotta and then the cheese oh, yeah. and then the meat sauce and then the ricotta. And then, you know, so it's just like, do, do you even need pasta? But the top part that's burnt, mmm, ooh. Well, ooh. I've, I've been the no. That, that is so good. Everyone, comment down below, like, of lasagna. What is your favorite part of it? Is it the noodle? Is it the meat sauce? Is it the ricotta? Is it the top part that gets kind of kind of crusty? Who would say the noodle? So, I don't know. Somebody people, might people like the say the noodle. I don't know. Okay. That's why I'm asking. I'm curious. I mean, I think most people, it's the cheese. Mm. The cheese or the meat. One of those two things. Mm. It's like my favorite part about cheesy broccoli is never the broccoli. <laughs> Must be hard. But the palmini clear. is just like legitimate pasta mouthfeel mm. no this is really good i mean this is lasagna i love it mm -hmm. i i absolutely love it i completely agree mm. okay well now your favorite part of date night what's that let's move on to the topic <laughs> and what's the <laughs> oh my gosh this is a part maybe of not your favorite part sweetheart uh, seeing as today about? is our anniversary oh yeah <laughs> I knew Seeing that. as today is our anniversary, I just want to, you know, talk about your thoughts on our first year of marriage, you know? What things were you surprised by? What was different than you expected? Well, hmm. given the situation, mm -hmm. it went as perfect as I can imagine. Like, we never, well, okay, I won't say never. We very rarely got on each other's nerves. Okay. That's what you think. We very rarely, I get on your nerves. That's what you think. <laughs> Did you say it? Are you so good? No, you very rarely got on my nerves. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most obvious thing I can say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one of those things where it's, where it just, it's not, you know it's work and you know it's a process and you know that it's not easy and it takes time and it takes effort and everything, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. But it's also not those things as well. You know? It was also surprisingly easy. Exactly. Where it's like, as much as I know it's work, I, it's, being with you is not. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just so easy and effortless. And I need, might need to put some more effort in <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, We would I all love if you put in more effort, effort in my baby. I'm just saying that you're absolutely... Beautiful and perfect. So, uh, yeah, this has been a really great first year, and to many more. I was just gonna say, to mm -hmm. many, many, many more. And then when we both go on to glory, I'm gonna be chasing you up in the afterlife. When we both Ooh. go on to glory, Ooh, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be. And this is him not by. getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, I love you. I, I love, love you, baby. cutie pie. So back so, with the question on to you, how was the first year in your eyes? So to me, you know, just like you mentioned, our whole married situation has been a little different because the week we got married, we basically went into prolonged quarantine. Yes. We didn't go anywhere 
as a couple. <laughs> like we didn't go anywhere, you know? And, and honestly, we still haven't nearly a year yeah, later. That's true. Yeah, so. And we've done things. We've done yeah. things here, but not with people that we didn't exactly. know and weren't in, you know, extreme close quarters with, mm -hmm. you know? So it was like, I never had or got to, I would say, introduce him to anyone as my husband. Like up until 2021, like yeah. a couple of weeks ago, oh. that was the first time that I had interacted with strangers to the point where I had to say, oh no, that's my husband over there. Or, oh, I'm his wife. You know, I had never said those uh. words almost a year into our marriage because we were never around people, around people that didn't too. already know yeah. so didn't that he was my husband and I was and his wife, you know? And so we went to a work event last yeah. month and it had been a year since we all saw everyone and we were around new people and I was just like, oh, no, no, that's my husband. You know, I'm part of the crew. And I'm mm -hmm. just like, oh, that's my, no, that's my husband over there, uh, you know? That's me. And no, right? So <laughs> he would be on a ladder or like, you know, like doing chords or something. I'm like, no, no, no that's my husband, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it was a really nice feeling. I'm not going to lie, Aww. you know, to be able to, to say, oh, that's my husband. But it kind of, it, I realized how new it was. I was mm -hmm. like, wow, I've never said that because I never had to, you know, mm -hmm. it was a good feeling. Mm -hmm. But one thing about our home life, I guess I would say that I didn't really realize, like I, and I think I've said this to you before, mm -hmm. I never thought that I would have married an opposites attract sort of situation, you know? We're opposites? We are opposites. <laughs> when did this happen? We are opposites. We are so you know? much alike. No, I am very we uptight, so high strung. You are so relaxed yes. and okay, easy well, those going. Those are the one, two things were different. We are like on so many other things. We both like fitness. We both like. When's the last time you worked out? Shade. <laughs> so much shade. So, but you know, like just in terms of our approach to life, like I'm very organized. I need to know what's going to happen from yes. one day to the next. Where my husband's like, let's just see where the day takes us, and I'm just like, no, we have control over where the day takes us. You know, so it's just like general differences like that. I never. I never, you know, thought I would be the type to marry someone that was opposite. Mm -hmm. I thought I was going to marry another type A, like, what are we doing today? What are we doing tomorrow? What are we yes. doing next week? Got it. You know, but. I'm kind of like that too, though. No, you're not at all. Okay, you're not at all. Um, so, <laughs> so I realized that even though there are just certain levels of frustration that I go through. Both there, of us. That we both go through. <laughs> there's never there's just never a sense, there's a sense of like security and permanence that's always there that it, it just, it really puts things into perspective. You know, mm -hmm. we're one of those like never go to sleep angry sort of couples because there's just no point, you know, mm -hmm. like literally no matter how See, much he gets on my nerves, I will never leave him. Like, and, and I mean, <laughs> it's good to part. know that. No, you get on uh, my okay. nerves. Know, but you know, it's just, that is such a good feeling too. Cause you know, especially, I don't know, just with people, uh, how quickly we got together mm -hmm. and got married. Lord willing, they're not. But I know some people are out there maybe regretting their situation. Asking, oh, yeah. did we oh, move yes, too no, quickly? Did I, we get married too soon? People. Exactly. You know, <laughs> so, but like, we're not those people. You know, like no. no matter how much, I'm just like, ah, there's never, there was never a time where I'm like, was this the wrong thing to do? Like, I just, mm. I know in my bones that we supposed to be together. Mm. See, that's for those parts that we match and fit. That's the only thing we have in common uh, is that we know oh we're gosh. supposed to be together. Everything yeah. else is separate. Well, uh, according to you, see, for me, you were the perfect thing that I needed in my life mm -hmm. because I vocalized, okay. So for my 30s, mm -hmm. I was basically single yes. my entire 30s, mm -hmm. and I was single, ready to mingle, you know what I mean? But not mingling. I was mostly single and focusing on self-betterment, yes. like self-enlightenment. I was yeah. like studying and mm -hmm. like reading stuff mm -hmm. and trying to just Saving the, money. Yeah, and trying to become the better me mm -hmm. because my 20s was the experimental. <laughs> so the 30s was more like, let's reel that in. Let's, yeah. let's slow that down a little bit. So... And like mid my mid thirties, I was starting to actually like it's like your your vision board it was mm -hmm. like I was vocalizing the person I wanted to be with. It's mm -hmm. like okay, who am I? What where am I in life? And what do I want? Mm -hmm. And I was always like 
Well, I am a goofball, so I need somebody who's focused because two goofballs might not get stuff done. <laughs> like, I'm being honest, might not get stuff done. So like, I need somebody who's energetic, somebody who's, because I was like, sometimes I'm a little more, I was always looking for the person who The complimentary in the person. Gaps. No. Filled in my gaps. No, see, I, I really was. wasn't. And I didn't realize, but I didn't realize how much I needed that and how important complimentary personality types were until we got married, you know? I'm the type of person where I, you know, I was just like, wow, this person is nothing like me, but it kind of turned into, this person is everything I'm not. Like everything that I don't have within myself, mm -hmm. he has to support me. So you're right, I'm like, you filled in the cracks. Mm -hmm. And like, now, now as a whole person. Oh, crack feel. Oh, crack feel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good caulking good. <laughs> <laughs> something like we, we, that. We do go to Lowe's a lot. Exactly. You're right. <laughs> now, now, that is something we have in common. We love the hardware store. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just like, I, I didn't necessarily think I was looking for someone to fill in the gaps mm -hmm. until I met you and realized that that's exactly what you do. Mm, you're my baby cake. Mm, you're my baby cake. I'm so. you fill in my gaps. Yes, because you got plenty of gaps. <gasps> I don't even know what to do now. <laughs> who are you and who did I marry? While we continue, we are going to move on to dessert. This is pure chocolate brownie. Oh my gosh, with walnuts. I added this walnuts. Is the one chocolate I can do anytime. I know my of husband does not like chocolate. Did I mention we was opposite? <laughs> okay. But he does love brownies. So. Yes, that's the one chocolate I can do any time of the day or night. Okay. Oh yeah. It is delicious. Oh yeah. Gosh, it just, it tastes like a regular brownie. Mm -hmm. This is... You would never know. This is the meal of you would never know, you know? Mm -hmm. mm. We both outdid ourselves today. Yeah, and the brownie was mine. I know. Thank you. You are such a baker. Oh my God, thanks. The other thing I realized about, about being married, I guess, mm -hmm. is that a person is fully capable of loving you with all of their heart and doing things to infuriate you at the same time you know i'm just i'm saying you know like you are just so hard today <laughs> <laughs> i used to i used to think like it, i used to start sentences with like if you loved me then you would do this because mm -hmm. this is important to me and if you truly love me then that's what you would do so what i realized you say that a lot and what but I really realized is like you don't have to do those things and you're still fully capable of loving me. Like basically I have to get over it, you know? My husband is someone that likes to make a mess in the kitchen. We I've talked about this a zillion times, you know? It infuriates me to no end. But that's just who he is. But I have gotten much better. He has thought he's gotten much better. <laughs> no, he's actually gotten much better. Shit. You, you Get to be yourself. I want you to completely be yourself. <laughs> That's how you resent people is if they feel like they can't be themselves, you know? Because as much as I know I get on your nerves, I'm being myself. Oh, I know. You know, like I got to oh, let I it out. <laughs> like I don't just poo-poo what you say. No, I, I, you never do. You never do down, any of that stuff. And I'm trying to. Well, I mean in my mind. But <laughs> no, nope, nope. That is a thing. Nope. I can write something down in my mind. No. Nope. I write it down in my mind, and I remember to do it. <laughs> I will tell you this. No one, and I literally said this to him earlier today, no one catches me off guard like my husband catches me off guard. <laughs> no one truly says things that just, like, take me aback the way that my husband does. And it is it is the most pleasant surprise every time he does it. So, so adorable. Yes. But... Honestly, like you said, like one year down, a bazillion to go. And it'll only get bigger and better from here because as we start to get to go places exactly. and experience new things together. Actual yeah, you know, and because that's another thing that I kind of took notice of this year too mm -hmm. is we didn't get to experience anything for the first time together, you know? That is true. Besides get married. <laughs> you know, also true. and then our honeymoon downtown, which was really, really fun because mm -hmm. we had never stayed at like a room in the hotel oh, yes. over the river mm -hmm. like that. You know, like there were things that 
it's there's like a special bond that comes with experiencing new things together mm -hmm. and we haven't really had a lot of those chances because yeah. we haven't gotten to do new things so you know with the years coming up so and right. yeah and the, and the things that we get to do like it's it's only going to get better from here y'all he tricked me into marrying him <laughs> I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know what sort of witchcraft he uses <laughs> Oh, sweetheart. Okay. You toast. Yes. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll toast, but then you toast. Okay. To a beautiful one-year marriage, to a beautiful wife who accepted my proposal. I did, and gladly. to many, many more in the future. Absolutely. To just the best surprise that came along in my entire life. And to my husband who rescued me from the wilderness. I don't know, right? That's what I say all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and like you said, to many more, to many new experiences and happiness together. Always. Always. Oh my goodness. I love you so much. Oh, Woo. I know, right? This is <laughs> This is Diet Cherry 7 Up. Delicious. It's good. It's a, little, <laughs> it's a little different, a little zingy. I know. Yes! Ooh, we're getting fancy on our anniversary! Oh mm -hmm. Remember I did say I had my 20. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he knows those, about those some rosé. Rose. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for joining us through this, this year of marriage. <laughs> and we look forward to doing more date nights. Of course. We'll catch you next time. Bye! Goodbye, everyone. Stuff you're just stuff. a flower eater. But to spin the question back on you. Mm-hmm. It was the question. How it was almost to the point. Uh oh, this grandma. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. God, you look so cute. Please be quiet. I am just noticing that I'm married. <laughs> you're just noticing. Yes. I have many times. Uh, what said? That's my wife. Yes. To a who? Aquino Palooza. I'll clap. There you go. You're so cute. <laughs> now you can line it up. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Look at you, can't ever be normal. You're All so right. cute. Nope, mm -mm. That, is, that doesn't get you out of it. <laughs>